Basic condition number 22 for admission to confederation. That the state does not allow any political party and any politician who has not crossed paths with the political systems of the 20th and earlier centuries of this civilization into the political election match. The world's number one misconception today is the belief that the prosperity of this civilization lies in the development of electronics and biogenetics. The prosperity of this civilization lies in sorting out the situation in the heads. Of course, this is only possible where there is a mind, work operational abilities of the brain. What do you do in an empty head? The fact that in the whole world the poor have been oppressed by the dictatorship of small-minded selfish people, who treat their frustrations with decadent enjoyment of material things, bodily excesses and counting money, which is theirs as much as immortality is theirs, means that the poor are intelligent enough to understand that everything between people, nations and states must be placed in meaningful relationships. Only the philosophy of the fifth epoch establishes new relationships. So far, no epochal change has been initiated by some one philosophy, some idea, but every previous one is epoch-making the change was subsequently analyzed philosophically and historically. But, the fifth epochal social arrangement is a matter of common sense philosophy. The epoch-making social institutions of this civilization are 1. Barbarism 2. Slave ownership 3. Feudalism for capitalism and the upcoming 5 humanism dictatorship of humanity the salvation of this civilization is where we never even looked for it in the now deluded mind who deceives himself that in leisure and abundance he will become himself again we came to the understanding that the knowledge that we had to acquire in order to see that it is not decisive is not worth the so-called social superstructure, namely knowledge for the production of material goods. Science has helped us, through technology, production and consumption, to understand ourselves as beings with a purpose, which, purpose, has nothing to do with ownership of the means of production, nor with capital. The spokesperson for the aspiration towards the fifth epochal social organization of this civilization, does not demand higher daily wages, nor higher monthly wages, nor ownership of the means of production, but demands honesty and the cessation of enrichment without work, cessation of enrichment without any connection with the production of material goods. He is neither a worker, nor an entrepreneur, nor an investor, nor the owner of the means of production, and in the end all the money is with him. Because he is a banker. It is not just about money as a means of distributing enjoyment, because there is so much money and goods in this world that we would all quickly degenerate as enjoyers of something, but it is about the existential minimum and enabling the so-called spiritual education, at least to those who are mentally gifted and who want self-knowledge. Slave ownership is the exploitative political philosophy of the family and the city-state of the ancient world. Feudalism is an exploitative political philosophy of an individual within his tribe. Capitalism is the exploitative political philosophy of a nation, imperialist-minded on a planetary level. In all three levels of utilization of labor power, the profiteer is the individual, slave owner, feudal lord and capitalist. Communism of the 20th century of this era and national socialism are, declaratively, socially interesting political economies. But communism of the 20th century renamed itself the dictatorship of the proletariat. Because it realized that it was far from communism, and national socialism in its political program recognized its imperialist aspirations of the type of capitalism of the 19th century. Today, the entire planet is a platform for the exploitation of people by corporate capitalism. Therefore, let us be free to conclude that, during the thousands of years of this civilization, only the platforms and ways of exploiting people have changed, which changed thanks to the scientific and technological development of civilization, but the philosophy of today's multibillionaire and the philosophy of the slave owners of Babylon and Athena is the same. Epoch socio-political change, in the interests of cultured, 
moral and self-aware people, will only happen when people cultivate, civilize and become aware of themselves through their own aspirations and efforts, and not if they steal money from multi-billionaires or kill bankers. Because the Earth Confederation has a basis and chances only with all cultivated, moral and conscious people of the entire planet. It means with all those who are intelligent enough to understand that physical military violence is a primitive change of profit collectors, and not the establishment of the epoch of humanism, where enlightened capitalists and bankers will also live.